Hey guys, what's up? Hey, Carla. Back again. Um, I've got a Let's see what you got. video got for a you, bit of everything. and I have to kind of give compliments to Power Picks for this. It's a, I'll put a link to his channel down in the description below. But I haven't seen this in a lot of places. I, I seriously think that he's the only video that I've seen of this. I don't know if anyone else has done one like this because I actually meant to make this a couple days ago. Uh, but I've been busy with Fallout 4 and also the download of Black Ops 3. And, I, I mean, I, I just want to get right to the point. As you guys saw, Carla had zero caps and zero inventory. So, uh, if you do this right, <coughs> it's going to be... I don't really want to call it an unlimited cap glitch. Um, this can kind of ruin your game if you don't use it in moderation. Because having too much shit is Must. just boring when you don't earn anything. We can talk about guns, <coughs> or maybe you want to consider so, uh, something more. This works with person. every vendor, and I'm gonna go ahead and explain I've you the glitch right now. Browse. You gotta talk to the vendor, and you will get every quantity of a single round. You will not finalize the purchase. You will then go to your inventory, give back a single round, and then give back all the rounds. If you have not already purchased or traded anything with this exact vendor in the past 24 game hours, a glitched round will stay in your inventory and you can continuously sell it back. And once you've sold it back to a point where they have, it's going to be negative money for them, but just like a little bit over the point, not like right on the point or just 10 above the point, like just like, a, like 50 or something over the point. You can then go back to their inventory and surprisingly it glitches out and you can continuously buy ammo from them but instead of multiplying your um the money you're going to spend it multiplies the money they're going to give you and the rounds keep going up and up so every like say you sell like 50 rounds it'll turn into like 100 rounds and those 100 rounds will turn into a thousand rounds and then what you can do is you can buy every item in that vendor's inventory as you just saw right now and you can do this with any vendor that has ammo. I've noticed though, I don't think the glitch works with vendors that actually live in your settlement. Um, I don't have any in this video Every because it's pretty early on. Like I said, I was trying to do a couple it. things. No ago. arguments. I've just been busy and um, I have vendors and I try to do I've the glitch with them. It does not work a with bit them. Of everything. Again, it it won't work. Like say if I traded with Myrna here earlier on in the day, like I bought like 10 millimeter rounds or something from her, I will not be able to do this glitch. It will not work. The, the cool thing is, is if you do this in Diamond City, they sometimes sell power armor, like just the shells of power armor. And I did this like three days in a row. I went and slept at the, the inn here, uh, the dugout inn. And I slept for 24 hours, I came back, and I bought all their stuff again. I kept putting it in the armor uh, thing right next to them. And, like, the power armor stacked on top of each other. Another good thing this is for is adhesive, because they do have adhesive, and they also have, like, duct tape, stuff like that, which turns out to be adhesive. And that is something that is really hard to find in Fallout. So this can be useful just for fun, or just to get, like, a few items here and there. For me, I actually did it initially after all of this for the power armor because uh i could probably put up a, a picture or something here at the end but i have literally seven power armors just lined up in my sanctuary another thing i want you guys to notice about this glitch is as you can see i'm just back and forth buying this ammo do not do that because it will not give you ammo it'll actually put some of your ammo back into the inventory of the vendor and all it'll do is waste your caps. And again, here I prove to you that if you have previously traded with that trader, you cannot do the glitch. So, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> um, so, really, guys, all I can say is this is an amazing glitch. The armor workbench is right there. That's where I put all my stuff just to kind of, you know, put my shit away. And the power armor, you can kind of see it behind the person over there. 
Uh, another thing you should remember that power armor does increase your carrying capacity. So if you are fast traveling back and forth between the market and your settlement to put your items inside of your workbench, just continuously get into a power armor so that you have uh, more carrying capacity. Alright everyone, please don't forget to leave a like or dislike if you liked or disliked this video. Please try and get this video up to 15 likes, guys, and please comment down below about what you thought of this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this or content on other games I play in the future, near future, and distant future. This has been a Seki Broadcast for you, Jason Manning, aka Seki Leader. I'm out. Later on, guys, and please have a great rest of your fucking day.